This is Bob Serling for 10-Minute Tips for Maximum Health, and today I'm talking with Dr. Alan Christensen. Dr. Christensen is a naturopathic medical doctor who specializes in natural endocrinology, which is a hard word for me to say, with a focus on thyroid and adrenal disorders. Now, he's the author of the New York Times best-selling Adrenal Reset Diet, as well as the best-selling Complete Idiot's Guide to Thyroid Disease. He frequently appears on national TV shows like The Doctors, The Today Show, and in print media like Shape Magazine. And Dr. Christensen's mission to help people heal has a very personal foundation. As a child with cerebral palsy, he suffered from seizures, poor coordination, and obesity. And in his early teens, he went on a quest to heal himself, devouring books on nutrition, fitness, and health. His diet and fitness plan worked so well that he became a varsity football player and the best endurance runner in his class. Through this, he learned that the tickets to health are knowledge and persistence. Now, with this intriguing background, I know we're in for some powerful advice today, so welcome, Alan. Hey, thanks so much for having me, Bob. I'm glad to be here. My pleasure. Thank you. Now, um, before we get started, a lot of people may not uh, be you know, really familiar with uh, the adrenal glands and adrenal disorders, even though they affect us all on a daily basis. Could you give a quick synopsis of what the adrenal glands are and how they function? For sure. You know, in your lower back, you've got your kidneys, and on top of each kidney, there's a little chunk of tissue about the size of a nickel, and each one has a switch, basically, and it controls whether you're cranking out energy and sleeping deep and burning your body fat easily and reversing inflammation and healing your body or whether all that stuff is working wrong. (laughs) So they they affect all this. Great. Okay, well, that's a great explanation. So with that in mind, uh, let me just give you the one question I have for you today then, which is what's the single best thing you recommend people do uh, today for maximum health benefits? You know, timing your foods in a way that heals the adrenal glands. We we hear so much about things that affect our health, like, you know, don't smoke and have have low cholesterol, manage your blood pressure. There was a big study done of thousands of civil servants between 2002 and 2006. And what they saw was people that had good, healthy adrenals, that had a healthy rhythm of adrenal hormones, they had better survival than those based upon any other variable. So literally, smokers with good adrenal glands live longer than non-smokers with unhealthy adrenal glands. Wow, that that's amazing. So um, how do, does a person go about making sure they have healthy adrenal glands? The simplest thing you can do is just time your foods in a strategic way. So for breakfast, you want to have nice, high-quality protein foods. And then for your dinner, you want to have good carbs. And what happens is your adrenal glands make a big burst of a hormone called cortisol to wake you up in the morning, and protein helps that happen. But then they shut that off at night so you can get deep restorative sleep. And and you need healthy carbs for that part of the cycle to happen properly. So both proteins and carbs then affect your adrenal glands and how they function? They sure do. The adrenals have just so many jobs, and one of them is they work to regulate your blood sugar. And it's a two-way street. So when your blood sugar is low, you crank out cortisol, a stress hormone, to raise it back up again. But when your blood sugar is higher, that pushes down cortisol. So you can be strategic about timing of carbs to repair and reset that cortisol rhythm. Great. So if I want to start with a healthy protein breakfast, what are a few recommendations? What would a, a good breakfast look like? You know, I think about two tracks for that. Uh, one is shakes and one is leftovers. And <laughs> here's why. Okay. <laughs> you know, we think about breakfast as being French toast or pancakes or waffles or fruit or something or juice. Or we think about really fatty, heavy processed meats. And all of those work against the goal of, you know, burning fat and having energy. So leftovers, you know, the same stuff you had for dinner, have a nice piece of chicken, some fish, some veggies, maybe even the same stuff you had for dinner. You know, we love to just make a little extra and put some away right away for the morning. So that's one track. The other one is do a protein shake. 
you know, look at non-allergenic things like vegetable protein or there's some new beef protein powders that I like. Small amounts of fruit, some greens, some some seeds maybe, some coconut milk. Make a good shake out of that. It's a perfect breakfast. That's great. Now, I noticed you didn't mention eggs. And there, uh, do eggs fit into the plan, both for uh, egg protein powder and just as a uh, – as a protein itself at breakfast? Yeah, great question. So the magic number for protein seems to be about 25 grams for women and about 35 grams for men. And of course, that's like assuming average sizes. But eggs, there are some that are intolerant of them. Some people have horrible allergies they're aware of. Others may have milder sensitivities that they may not be aware of. But some do well with them. But another shortcoming is just that there is actually not all that much protein. I mean, they have very high quality protein, but an egg white is only three grams of protein. Oh, and, I, well, yeah. That, that's really interesting. I think most people don't understand that. They think of yeah. them as being very protein dense. So yeah. let's shift gears now to a good dinner that's going to help you sleep better and let your, uh, you know, assist your adrenal glands in doing their job properly. What might a, a good carb dinner look like? You know, my favorite template to use for dinner is a stir fry. So you can have some healthy protein, still nothing bad about that. And you want lots of good vegetables as always, but you really want to get some good carbs. And my favorite ones are intact whole grains, like like brown rice or buckwheat or quinoa or wild rice. I also love legumes and beans, um, black beans, lentils, pinto beans, garbanzos, and then even like good vegetable starches, you know, squash, sweet potatoes, and regular potatoes. They've gotten a bad rap, but they're very healthy foods in a lot of ways. You want about a cup of those for your evening meal. And again, assuming average size and average activity levels. Well, that's great. I, you know, it, it sounds so simple when you lay it out that way, and it, it's really valuable advice. So we have just a minute or so left. Um, to wrap up, can you repeat again, because I know this whole issue of adrenal gland health is very new to me. Can you summarize again what the benefits people get with just these simple adjustments that you uh, suggested today? For sure. You, you burn energy more effectively. You've got sustained energy throughout the day. When you're burning energy, you're burning fat. So it's easier to get to the weight you want and, and stay at the weight you want when you've gotten there. Then the other part of it is when you burn energy well, you get played out in a good sense. And your body is ready for deep, rejuvenating sleep. So, yeah, better energy, better weight, and quality sleep. Well, that's fantastic. Um, this has really been eye-opening, and I really appreciate you taking the time. Can you tell people a little more uh, about how to find out about you and what you do? For sure. Uh, my information is at drchristensen.com, D R C H. R-A-S-T-I-A-N-S-O-N.com. And if you're wondering about your adrenals, we've got adrenalquiz.com, um, A-D-R-E-N-A-L quiz.com. You can take a free test and see if your adrenals are healthy, and if they're not, by what degree. And you'll also learn what are some easy things you can do on your own to help get them back on track again. Well, again, this has just been fantastic information. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your schedule to share this with us. So thank you very much. My pleasure. Thanks again for having me, Bob.